What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Arrest. Guys, we hit 310 subscribers, oh my gosh, after yesterday's video. Thank you guys so much, I'm gonna make this short, thank you, I'm just, I just really appreciate it, it means a lot. Anyways, back to today's video where today, I'm gonna be looking at, first of all, one of the few places that I mentioned that we should check out, and that is this, the, for, uh, the, the Lexdale Penitentiary, the place that's broken over here. I'm not entirely sure what the whole deal with this place is. If you know the context of these places, as so many guys do, you'll always let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, uh, this place looks amazing, okay? Today, we're gonna be looking through a few amazing places just like this. Um, that are a bit underexplored, underadventured in the realm of Windcraft. And this is definitely one of those places. I mean, it sits at the top of the map kind of alone. And the closest quest that even deals anywhere near here is uh, the Lexdale one, which you don't ever even come up here for it. Um, and it looks absolutely stunning. It's just this very complex castle with like little buildings everywhere. Um, and these insanely cool creatures uh, like the, the the creatures are so complex. It's a it's a series Kahoot, <laughs> Kahoot. Like look at that. It looks so so interesting. Um, and they they do some crazy damage as well. And it's just it's a very beautiful. Whoa! And look at these beasts. Oh, please be quiet. These bees. They they look like brown crocodiles almost. Um, anyways, I think that this place is absolutely stunning. I love how they incorpor incorporated the dark forest into the build. Uh, you see, oh, a stray dog. I think, dude, oh, I can't kill it either. Maybe you can, like, send it somewhere, like, bring it somewhere where it's safe and there's secret discovery with it. I'm sure there is. I am not aware. I think I'm going to try to do every secret discovery in the game. That will come in the future. And my, oh, my, look at those... Just look at those trees. Um, it looks absolutely stunning. The castle has very well created a uh, shade. Oh, come on, boys. Like, uh, the colors are so well made from the browns and then even the stone. So often you have just like two or three types of stone, but there's so many here. You have between clay and andesite and stone bricks and cobblestone and smooth stone and a terracotta. There's so many options here. Um, it's definitely an insanely well made build. I love this build. It looks so cool. And it's out in the middle of nowhere doing literally nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm being attacked by so many things. And what is going on back here? I see that there's like some extra trees pushed up on the map here, but I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Um, I mean, yeah, just look at that castle. Looks like it's just maybe a river, huh? Man, th th there's so much to explore. If you ever want a game where you can just explore and like, like, just have a lot of fun. Oh, it doesn't let me go past here. Interesting. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to come over here. And it doesn't let me enter. What is over there? Um, yeah, I don't know. But regardless, this place is really, really cool. I mean, it's just a really cool, imposing castle that's destroyed. And the mobs here are super, super, like, complicated. They're very complex uh, mobs. And no one really comes here. Again, the brown crocodiles. Um, yeah, th this place just looks amazing. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this place, but while you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other place that I want to talk about today. Another really cool place in Windcraft is literally right next to it, next to Lexdale, which is a pretty underdeveloped city, is on the map, the Caratat Mansion. Um, this is the Caratat Mansion, right? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wait. I get so confused with, between these two. Yes, I'm pretty sure that this is the Caratat. No, this... Yes? No, it's the church. That's right. I think there used to be a quest here, but I think they removed it. I don't think that there's a quest here anymore, but the design of the church is super, super cool. So it obviously it takes inspiration from uh, old Catholic cathedrals where they have these uh, this middle like area with these gigantic towers holding up on the side, the stained glass windows on the side, as well as like the large organ looking thing over here. I think, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you see the music coming off of the little music particles. Um, it's supposed to be an organ. 
and it looks really really cool it like it forces you to look up you know and especially when, when you just enter it looks very very imposing over there i think it's super cool um and even the entrance is very grand of like if you compare this to so like you have the lexdale city right next to it please leave me alone um you have lexdale over there and then over here you ha have this gigantic gigantic church so obviously in the inside it it you don't really get the same scale like you do here outside this thing is absolutely massive just look at the height of that top uh spire over there which is very common for catholic churches uh or medieval catholic churches where they would often make one very gigantic tower as a testament i guess um which is very very cool um but regardless and and the build quality if you look at the build quality of this place i mean again it's the use Oh, look at them. They have a statue here. A villager statue of their god or whatever, or their priest, uh, which is very cool. Uh, leave me alone. Um, and it looks a bit worn down, but, like, the way it's overgrown is very realistic. There's people who are trying to keep it together, but they add wood to hold it up and stuff. Um, and, like, the shading on it with the mossy uh, stone bricks on the bottom. You even have wool in uh, stone there and then as you go up it gets progressively lighter but also the 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 backbone the the columns that hold it up look absolutely amazing i think it's super super cool and it's definitely an underrated place in windcraft that you never hear anybody talking about the church um but it's one of those smaller structures that you just walk around and you you can just like be amazed by it, right and obviously next to it there is a little uh what's it called uh but a little bear a cemetery that's what it is and from here it looks even even more insane right um absolutely insane and there's so many mobs here but like i mean just look at that right um it looks beautiful oh my gosh i wonder if we can get to the top of this thing um, and the way that it sit, sat in the forest this way, and the trees are so complexly made, these dark wood trees, it's absolutely amazing. Um, the mobs around here aren't as interesting as the church itself, but the build quality is absolutely insane. So that's what I think of the church, and let's move on to one other place that I think deserves some recognition. No, this uh, there is one quest. It's called Shirk. I understand his name is Shirk, but look, you have Shrek Swamp, and it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, I love Shrek Swamp here simply because I love the movies. But I mean, look at that. Is that not just amazing? Come on, um, look, look, and you come inside, and it's Shrek, and I think it's supposed to be Donkey, but they haven't exactly made dunk oh what did you want and apologize me for leaving you there with her i already prayed my salvation for your mortal soul what do you want i'm just gonna be with my new pet so he's got his donkey here and it's shirk it's not shrek because we, we don't want to get in trouble but it, it's it is and it's so cool i love the idea that you know just incorporate some other fantastical things and also the design around this place i love those little purple flower looking things over there the blue mushrooms growing here the swamp itself is very well designed and the piranhas in the water look amazing um and you do have like what is this a steers what the heck is that um but especially again with the mountainside on the side it is so so cool i love the waterfall i like the the, the little things coming down from the trees in the swamp this the swamp area itself is something i can complain about because it gets kind of repetitive is not as nice but i will say that like aesthetically wise it is super super pleasing um it is super cool and these swamp trees are like very very unique compared to most trees in windcraft where it's all very like generic these trees are very complex and again there's so much to explore where these mountains have like so so many extra like little nooks and crannies for you to find um and some of them you can't even get into but I would definitely recommend checking out this place. It's one of the cooler places in Windcraft. And the design of the swamp is just absolutely beautiful. It is breathtaking. If you have a chance to check it out, 
definitely check it out. Um, it, it is absolutely super cool. Um, I'm going to leave the video here. Let me know what you think, what you thought of these three places. Are they your favorites? Are they not your favorites? Why? Is there any interesting lore behind them? Um, I definitely know that Shrek is there just, just, just for fun. Um, but he is there for a quest, which you can definitely check out for yourself if you play the game. Um, anyways, I'm going to leave the video off here. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Veras, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.